a new discovery. Astronomers say they've detected a rogue Earth mass planet drifting in our Milky Way galaxy. If a solar system is a family, then some planets leave home early, whether they want to or not, and once they've left the gravitational embrace of their family, they're pretty much destined to drift through interstellar space forever beyond, outbound, un unbound to any star. Kindly consider supporting my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. If I'm Go Universe today, astronomers like to call these drifters rogue planets and they're getting better at finding them. A team of astronomers found one of these drifting rogues that's about the same mass as Mars or our Earth. Finding something in deep space that emits no light of its own is extremely challenging. But two organizations are doing that. They're the OGLE, that's Optical Gravitational Lensing Experiment, collaboration with the KMTN, Korean Microlensing Telescope Network collaboration. And uh, now a team of scientists from both these groups have announced the discovery of a low-mass rogue planet. There are no stars near it, and its distance from Earth is unconfirmed. The team says it proves that the microlensing technique is effective at finding Earth-mass planets that are free-floating in space. The paper presenting its discovery is titled A Terrestrial Mass Rogue Planet Candidate Detected in the Shortest Timescale Microlensing Event. There are 30 authors listed as contributors for this work, and the lead author is Presmek Moroz, a postdoctorate scholar in astronomy at Caltech. The paper is available in the press pre-press site ARXIV. These astronomers think that in the early days of a solar system, some low-mass planet will be ejected from a star's gravitational grip. Things can be chaotic in the early days, and the gravitational interactions between the star and all the planets can sometimes send small planets out into space to fend for themselves. According to the planet formation theory, such as the core accretion theory, Typical masses of ejected planets should be about 0.3 and 1.0 Earth masses, the authors wrote. Finding these tiny bodies in the vast darkness of space requires an innovative approach, that is, gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing requires two things. A distant light source, usually a star, and a closer object with enough mass to act as a lens and to bend the light from the light source. In this case, the low-mass planet acts as a lens, and depending on how much the light from this distant star is affected by the foreground object, astronomers can learn quite a bit. A relatively tiny object like a low-mass planet does not bend much light, and not for too long either. In their paper, the authors say microlensing events due to terrestrial mass rogue planets are expected to have extremely small angular Einstein radii, that's 0 0.1 mass, MAS, and extremely short time scale, 0 0.1 day. According to the authors, this is the most extreme short time scale microlens discovered to date. In the last couple of decades, knowledge of exoplanets has exploded. We now know that thousands of them exist, so we expect that almost every star hosts planets like this. Uh, all of this knowledge, well, every star holds planets, they say. All of this knowledge has led to updated theories and models of planets and solar system formation. And those models show that there should be a lot of rogue planets that were detected from their systems. Theoretical work shows that there could be billions or even trillions of free-floating planets in our Milky Way. In their work, the authors list the ways these planets can end up orphaned, Planet-planet scattering, dynamical interactions between giant planets that lead to orbital disruption of smaller inner planets, interactions between the stars in binary and ternary systems and star clusters, stellar flybys, and the evolution of the host star past the main sequence. Microlensing offers a method of finding these smaller rogue planets, but it's difficult. It's not that they're so dim that it's a problem. 
it's that the microlensing events for bodies this small are on a very short time scale due to their size. The newly discovered planet, which has been named Ogle 216 or BGL 1928, was discovered in a microlensing event which lasted only 41.5 minutes. That's not much time for detailing data to be gathered. Only four other small rogue planets like this one have been found before, each one in a short time scale microlensing event. Together, these events provide strong evidence for a population of rogue planets in the Milky Way, the authors write. The researchers faced a host of difficulties in not only detecting this event, but in determining that it was indeed a planet. They write, in this case of other short time scale microlensing events, we cannot rule out the presence of a distant stellar companion. They were able to exclude any stellar companions at the distance of only eight AUs but many planets orbit their stars at much greater distances than that. This planet was also found, quote, at the edge of current limits of detecting short time scale microlensing events, end quote, the paper says. The authors say this points out how difficult the search is for these planets. The event was detected with relatively few data points, too, only 15. The small number of data points in the detection means that the, quote, declining part of the light curve is not fully covered with observations." End quote. That data shortfall means that there's some uncertainty about around the nature of uh, the microlensing event and some uncertainty around it actually being a planet. Part of that uncertainty seems stems from the background star itself. The source star is located in the red giant branch in the color magnitude diagram and some giants are known to produce stellar flares, the authors say. They could conclusively rule out stellar flares as a cause of the event rather than a rogue planet. However, the properties of the event, its duration, amplitude, and light curve shape, do not match those of flaring stars, they conclude. But even with the uncertainties, this discovery is still important. Thus, the lens is one of the best candidates for a terrestrial mass rogue planet detected to date, they say. Even though their mass measurements for the object is somewhat ambivalent, the other properties are the rare event, are a rare event, quote, consistent with the lens being a sub-Earth mass object with no stellar companion up to the projected distance of about 8 AU from the planet, end quote. Rogue planets have almost zero potential for hosting life, so they may never be in the intense field of study in the same way that exoplanets have become, but they're still intriguing, and like everything else, they hold clues to how nature works. In the future, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will aid in the search for rogue planets. It has a lot on its plate for its mission, including some huge topics like dark energy and some eagerly awaited tasks like imaging exoplanets and obtaining spectra of their atmospheres. But part of its job is also to find free-floating rogue planets as small as Mars, the ultra-powerful space telescope will conduct a large microlensing survey to find more of these planets. Its findings will help us understand better how our solar system, our own solar system, stacks up to others. Roman will help us learn more about how we fit in the cosmic scheme of things by studying rogue planets. This article was published on Universe Today, and this is on Science Alert. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.